Uh, they move very quickly, make it easy to be hit by them, only they to shout before. Yeah, they. that's it. Everything makes a noise. Dodge when you hear the noise. I'm playing with the volume low, so I'm not really hearing the noises, but it's on easy, so I don't think it's a problem. Hard to defeat them quickly. Successful killing throw from Saki. Yeah, but I'm not, again, I'm not Saki. Sometimes they guard, break their guard. It said that there was a beast strategy, but look, when I approach a beast, I just lock on and press the attack button. Okay, it's guard. It's, it's literally, there isn't strategy. Stop pretending there's strategy. It's lock on to thing, approach thing, waggle. If, if guarding, do the kick. Anyways, I, I saw the box. I was like, hey, that is that the Onichambara logo? So now I'm the proud owner of a very affordable Aya figure. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I think that this one was only like 30 bucks. And it's actually really cool. It has like a... It, a little bit of a funny story behind it. Of course we know that these games are sexy on purpose. No actual nudity though. Just sexy. <clears throat> and uh, and so I was looking at the figure and I was like, okay, I want to like pose it. Like the, the sword that she's holding is loose, so you don't have to put it in the hand if you don't want. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. I noticed that uh, like the, the little bracelets she was wearing which we can see on the character right now, they they weren't part of the mold. Like, they were kind of loose on the arm. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like, it's it's not just, like, everything's stuck in place. All, like, her, like, accessory items are actually just, like, accessory items on this thing. And I thought that was really cool. Oh, there's a beast there. That's what it, it is. I'm using the map a lot to sort of figure out what which way to face because, like I said, the camera control is not going to happen. Whoops. Wait, what's happening? Am I in a weird mode? Wait, 2D off? What does that mean? Is, uh... What is this for? Fuck, I don't know. I'm done thinking about it, though. So uh, I was like, all right, it's cool. And uh, the um, the scarf that she has, it's actually, um, it's like actually like fluffy. And there's a, there's like a wire in it. So you can like bend it to make it look like it's flowing in the wind or just leave it hanging straight down or curling or whatever you want. And I was like, oh man, this figure is so cool. It's got all, it's got a lot of cool shit. And uh, that's when I noticed that uh, the, 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 the straps on her top that go across her back, I noticed that those were also not not part of the mold. The bikini bottom is part of the mold because it's you know it's stuck on there. It's it's tight to the crotch, so of course that's not movable. But when I noticed that uh, that the top straps were loose on her back, I was like, Oh no, are you serious? Is this a thing? And yes, what I'm getting to is you can just straight up take her top off. I, uh, I can probably post pictures of it in this video because she doesn't have colored nipples. They're just the same color as the model's skin. So it's, it's not really lewd, it's just a bit weird. But uh, yeah, so that little interesting fact. What I, a thing that I was disappointed to discover, because you know, I, I, I never looked into it because like I said, I, I considered myself not really a figures guy. So I never looked into it. Like like what's available and stuff. The the, the Hibiki figure I got from Simpho Gear is, was like super affordable and apparently it's like the cheapest one. So I'm like, well, it makes sense that I got it for a good price. It's the cheapest one. They're usually many of dollars. With the exception of like one other one that I don't really care to have because it's just okay looking. But, uh, so I looked up, uh, Oni Chambara figures. And I was disappointed to discover... Can I, uh, can I press a button to do, uh... There it is. 
I don't know exactly what I was looking at. Yeah, it's nothing. I, I, can I do it as much as I want? Does it not cost a thing when the meter's full? Nope, got a one, two, three, thrust. Nope, one, two, three. Nope, stop it. One, two, three. See, sometimes I think it wants me to hold the controller very horizontal when doing the thrust because it thinks it's a swing any other time. And it's making my ribs pop when I do it. It's not great. But uh, yeah, I was... I looked up more because I was like, you know what it would look really great next to this figure? A fucking Saki and a Misery, maybe Kagura, maybe the other sister from Z2 Chaos, who I did really like despite her name completely escaping me. Also, I got the full blood and that's not a great thing. Oh my god, I can't believe I fell for it again. I forgot that going to the goddess statue room resets the encounter. But uh, yeah, so I, I looked into it, and I was very, very disappointed to discover that this is the only figure. The Aya figure I got is all there is. And uh, that sucks, because I, I mean, Aya is cool, but you know who I like more than Aya? You know what, I like all of them, but I think I like Aya the least. Saki's cooler, Kagura and her sister are cool. Misery is cool. Maybe the chick in, in black leather is kind of not as cool. Her designs are not as cool, but... But it's... I don't know. I just would have liked it if there was more. I think there's like a... Like a super... Like, I think there's like a model that someone made of Kagra. But it's not like viable or anything, I don't think. I don't know, I just... I couldn't find anything and I was a little disappointed by that. But hey, I mean, that means the collection's complete already, right? I gotta go, I don't need to go hunting anything down. <clears throat> so, I guess now that I've kind of covered all the relevant topics, my recent Aya figure purchase, my plans for uh, future Onichimbara LPs on the channel. Actually, no, there is one more thing about that I wanted to share. And, uh, it's, it's kind of a stupid small thing, but I'm probably just gonna make, uh, like, I do a playlist whenever I finish an LP of, like, you know, the LP, of course. And, uh, I think once Onichimbara Origin has come out and I have officially played all of them, there's gonna be one playlist, one very long playlist on my channel called The Full Onichimbara Story and it's gonna be all the LPs in a row, Schoolgirl Zombie Hunter, it's all gonna be there and it's just gonna be a really long playlist and I will have all of it right there in one spot. The the ultimate place to go if you want to know what's up with Onichimbara. And here we are at the end. She's here. Somewhere up ahead. This tingling deep in my chest. Himiko. The eldritch power of that withered old hag is getting stronger and stronger. I knew it. She's come back to life. She claimed to be immortal, and I guess she wasn't lying. Does the power of the baneful blood conquer even death? But if that's the case, why did my parents die? What am I missing here? And then there's Saki's blood. Does the secret lie there, in the blood of my sister that they're so obsessed with? Has Himiko somehow obtained the power of immortality? And if so, how can she be defeated? Think, girl, think! Okay, I can press up on the control pad to taunt. That was a thing I had never done before, and don't pr Oh, I get more yellow orbs if I do it. Press the... Why is that upside down? A button unlocked into an enemy, allows you to perform an evade. I know how to do that. If I have at least one block of execute, if I perform an evade action the instant prior to being hit, I'll get a foresight thing, which, oh, it's witch time, before witch time. Was it before witch time? Probably. <sighs> Pardon me. Cool. More things I'm not going to do, but I appreciate them being there. Same time as we're for a cool combination. You perform a cool evade. That's even cooler than regular evades. 
while evading you throw on a shades, making you extra cool. So uh, last time I said that I was recovering from a, a pelvis injury. And uh, when I was streaming Here They Lie a bit ago, one, two, three, jab. When I was playing Here They Lie, my I was sitting and getting a bit sore. And I was, uh, it didn't take long before I was like finding positions to lay in and just moving around a bit. And uh, I gotta say that it's not happening now. While I'm sitting here, it also helps that I'm sitting some, somewhere way comfier. But, uh, nope, I'm getting better all the time and happy for it. No, I want to lock on. Stop. Stop. I mean, I do have that pain in my left shoulder blade, but that's just the pain of having to waggle a fucking Wiimote all the dang time. But, uh, you know what? Excited to be doing my first Wii LP on the channel. First and last, probably. I mean, I guess Bayonetta is on the Wii U. I really liked Bayonetta on PS3. And I was very disappointed that we didn't get them, the rest of them, on Sony consoles. So, uh, maybe, maybe I can use this opportunity to, uh, get those in. But I'm not gonna do LPs of those, because, you know, that's one of those series, that's, that's a game that's just for me. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm feeling pretty good. My pelvis is getting better all the time. The, uh, something that really didn't, like, I still, I still have, like, a bit of pain in, like, the socket of my right leg. Like, where my leg meets my pelvis, it gets a little sore. Sometimes, sometimes my right leg feels weak and unreliable. Like, I, like, I could fall. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard to describe. But, uh... What really didn't help was uh, last night my friends and I went to see a movie. As uh, cause a, f a friend of ours is visiting from uh, Edmonton, Alberta. So I'm you know trying to spend as much time with him as I can. I was supposed to have just three shifts this week. To uh, because after I got this pelvis injury, I was still working like four to five shifts each week, and I was like, hey, I need time off to recover. Because it was actually, I talked to more about it during the Here They Lie thing, but uh, it was a, it was really bad. Like if you've ever had back pain before, it's like that, but it doesn't just go away in a week, and it's fucking terrible, and you're useless and can't do anything. It's really, it was really, really bad. Worst, worst pain, discomfort, and helplessness I've had ever. I'd rather not be mistaken for that hag, thank you very much. Misery? But that's impossible. The power I- Oh, I managed to get some of Himiko's blood. It has let me do all sorts of exciting new things. So I thought I'd use this power to finally bring you the death you deserve, Aya. I don't, I don't know if one can really imagine how bad a pelvis injury could be, but uh, I assure you, it was fucking awful. I went to a chiropractor like three times, and like I'm super flexible, so it took it took a while before it was really doing anything. But then I started recovering pretty quickly. But uh, it, it was just bad. But you know what, I'm. I don't like to think too much about how bad it was because it's getting a lot better now and I can't wait till I'm back to 100%. But as I was saying, uh, friends and I went to see a movie uh, last night. It, oh jeez, I'm really getting my fucking ass kicked here. It was, uh, it was a pretty miserable movie. So I don't really want to talk too much about it. Uh, it was Midsummer. It's from the director of, uh, Hereditary, which was also a movie that made one feel miserable. And uh, yeah, this one made me feel pretty miserable too. If you like movies, if you like horror movies that just leave you feeling bad, then by all means, but 
Not a not a personal recommendation. I beat her. That was close. I guess she isn't completely immortal yet. But hold on. I've defeated Misery, and yet the undead haven't disappeared. So Misery wasn't controlling them? Then who? And why? It's no good. I can't sense the presence of anyone else. It looks like Misery was just another pawn to be cast aside. I wonder what she was fighting for. What meaning could there be in gathering baneful blood? She once told me that I fight because that is the nature of the baneful blood. But does she fight because she wants baneful blood? Or does baneful blood just want to fight? In the end, she may just be another victim of the fate of the baneful blood. Just like me and my sister. Well, you're right. It's a damn good feel-bad movie. Oh, I haven't seen Grave of the Fireflies either. Fuck that. I don't... Because, see, my problem with feel-bad movies is I'm very sensitive. I, I cry pretty easily when it comes to media. And, uh, like I said, I just like high-energy stuff. I like to feel good. I don't like feeling bummed out. But anyways... Uh, mur murder? It, this is just... They're just called murders. It's just called murders. All right, tell me their strategy. They may guard to protect themselves, perform a kick to the out, break their guards, high attack power, and will also attack from a distance using firearms and grenades. They have, uh, yep. You say so, knock them into the air if I feel like it. If you're hit by the first blow of murder's knife combination attack, it is very easy to then be hit by all the other blows. Making a skillfully and swift use of evade actions, vital in order. Murder's Gatling guns, post significant danger. Yep, Saki's throw. Saki's throw is apparently the best thing ever. I bet, uh, let's see here. Can I lock on, approach, and swing my sword until it dies? Oh, would you look at that? I have an even better strategy. It's when I, I lock on, I walk up to it, and I waggle. But uh, anyways, <laughs> I, I, sorry, I, I get so distracted. There's so much going on in this game. Jesus. So we're seeing Midsummer, And uh, the theater, it was only playing in one theater near, well, near-ish by. And it's the one that we go to when we're really feeling like uh, living the high life. Because they got these really great seats. They're like big old lazy boys. They recline and they're very nice and very big. And, uh... But this, it wasn't the case, because this is, it was like a limited showing, I guess. Because I guess a lot of people saw Hereditary and didn't feel like feeling bad again. So I don't think it's all that popular. But, uh, so we, it, it wasn't in one of the nice theaters. It was in a, a pretty crappy one, and all the seats were squeaky and uncomfortable. And uh, the thing that causes me the most discomfort is sitting with this pelvis injury. So uh, <clears throat> I wanted to move around and fidget a whole lot, but any movements would create a lot of squeaking from my chair. And uh, the movie has a lot of quiet parts. When I say horror movie, it's not, it's it's just tense and stressful. So. There really shouldn't be noises or distractions. You should be paying full attention. It's intentionally very quiet at times. And that and that means there's not a lot of I don't want to fidget. I don't want to ruin the movie for everyone. I'm a I'm a better person than that. Is that bottom half still alive? Yeah, it is. So I'm trying not to move and it's very painful to not move and fidget. And it was just if, if the movie wasn't already a miserable experience, my comfort was also at an all-time low because the seat sucked and I couldn't fidget. It would be like whenever whenever a noisier scene was happening, I'd be like, finally, and I'd move around a bit, but I still felt kind of bad about it. It was, it, it was annoying. Yeah, that's, that was my midsummer experience. The uh, said friend that is visiting from Edmonton, however, uh, I'll, I might be uh, going to visit him soon. Uh, a mutual friend of ours and myself are uh, going to look into flights. 
going going from the Niagara region to Edmonton is a bit of a trek. Because there's uh, apparently the... Oh! Haven't done the... Haven't been doing the thing properly. Apparently one of the, the longest running anime convention in Canada is the one in Edmonton. Apparently it's not as big as Anime North. But uh, we're still gonna go. Maybe. We gotta, we gotta work out flights and stuff. Uh, that's it. I don't have a whole lot of other things worth talking about lately. Just been hanging out with my boy Chris from Edmonton. Saw that miserable movie. Looking forward to more One Chambara. I mean, E3 just recently happened. I didn't really care for it, though. I thought it was uh, kind of not much for me. I mean, there was more Doom Eternal stuff, but I... I was committed to buying Doom Eternal like over a decade ago, man. I'm I'm in on the Doom. When Doom Eternal was first announced, I was like, fuck yeah, gonna buy. I, I didn't we didn't need more. But I mean, you gotta you gotta have something. Kinda like how Nintendo doesn't have much, so they're showing off uh Panzer Dragoon remake, which is great, because I'm a huge Saturn fan, excited for Saturn games getting some attention. It's not even a Nintendo exclusive, it's just... What's Nintendo gonna do? Just... Fucking nothing all the time? Because Nintendo is fucking nothing. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, there, there wasn't... Like, last E3, there was, uh... You know, announcement of new Senran Kagura was coming out. Uh, but nope, nothing, nothing in particular. A couple disappointments. Commander Keen not getting uh, treated very well. I don't care much for Commander Keen, to be completely honest. But it's kind of disappointing that the game coming out isn't going to make me care about Commander Keen. And in fact made me care a lot less than I already did. Yeah, not a, not a whole lot. I mean, I'm playing this right now, so clearly I don't have popular taste. I like weird, goofy shit. Can I get up this? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? That did not look like how I was supposed to do it. That looked like a bug. But I mean, I looked at the map and there was only where I started and this way to go, so I don't know. Yeah, I was really hoping that there would be uh you know, some mention of uh, One Chambara Origins at E3. But alas, nothing for me. So it's whatever. No new Senrin Kagura. Just uh, a whole lot of nothing. Just, hey, Doom Eternal, it's still coming out. I didn't think it wouldn't. <laughs> Was it this one? One, uh, one thing that I was really happy to read was, uh, one of the, one of the first articles that came out in regards to Onichimbara Origins was, uh, how's Sony's censorship thing going to affect the game? And, uh, the response was, like, literally not at all. Which is great. I'm glad that's not gonna cause any problems. Cause, like, Sony, please. When, when PS5 comes out, if they're still doing their censorship thing, I'm going to celebrate the launch of PS5 by just buying a Switch. Because, I mean, Switch is getting Gun Gun Pixies, which was originally on Vita. It has two exclusive Senran Kagura games. It's, it, it's getting, like, uncensored versions of games that are even coming out here. It's like, I feel like etchy games which is clearly in my wheelhouse and kind of one of the couple themes of the channel is just, uh, oh, I gotta get the yellow balls. Is just, you know, s sometimes they're just not coming out. Like, they're not even giving censored versions to the PS4 anymore. It's just like, nah, the Switch is okay with it. 
Wait, if I go this way, is it going to reset the encounter? Do I have to go this way? Oh, I guess I didn't get locked in, so it doesn't matter. I'll stop by just to get rid of the blood. 